Welcome to my only spondylitis channel. Today we are discussing about ESR, or erythrocyte sedimentation rate value in ankylosing spondylitis disease. What is ESR? An erythrocyte sedimentation rate ESR, test is sometimes called a sedimentation rate test or sed rate test. This blood test doesn't diagnose one specific condition. Instead, it helps your healthcare provider determine whether you're experiencing inflammation. Your doctor will look at ESR results along with other information or test results to help figure out a diagnosis. The tests ordered will depend on your symptoms. The ESR test can also be used to monitor inflammatory diseases and pain in ankylosing spondylitis disease. The ESR test can be used to help your healthcare provider diagnose conditions that cause inflammation, such as autoimmune diseases, ankylosing spondylitis properties, cancers, infections. The ESR test can help your healthcare provider monitor autoimmune inflammatory conditions, such as rheumatoid arthritis, RA, systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, normal range for ESR. ESR test results are measured in millimeters per hour, millimeter per hour. The following are considered normal ESR test results. Women under age 50 should have an ESR between 0 and 20 millimeters per hour. Men under age 50 should have an ESR between 0 and 15 millimeters per hour. How to control ESR? There are two ways to control ESR in your body. First, allopathic medicine and another natural way. Number one, allopathic way. If your doctor detects inflammation, they may recommend one or more of the following treatments. Taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, such as, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, or Naproxen, Aleve, Naproxen. Dot, 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 dot. Corticosteroid therapy to reduce inflammation. Number two, natural way. Certain types of food can help you reduce the inflammation and the levels of ESR as well. Foods high in antioxidants can help you reduce the inflammation. We have already mentioned them in the ESR diet, so make sure to include them in your daily diet for a better health. How to reduce ESR in blood? Eating omega-3 fatty acids, as well as olive oil will help you reduce the inflammation in your body use them as much as possible. However, it is good to know that certain types of food can make your inflammation worse. These are foods that contain higher amounts of saturated fatty acids or trans fat as well as foods that contain simple refined sugars. Be sure to avoid them in cases of inflammation. More natural remedies to reduce inflammation. 1. Use herbs. Do you have a high erythrocyte sedimentation rate? Here are a few of the herbs that combat inflammation. Ginger, paradols, shojales, gingerols and zingarone are four compounds of ginger with great anti-inflammatory properties. These compounds also reduce the pain-inducing prostaglandins in the body. Turmeric. Curcumin is a compound of turmeric that protects the liver and works as an antioxidant at the same time. It helps to reduce the levels of histamine to combat inflammation. KN. KN and other hot peppers contain capsaicin. This compound blocks the COX-2 enzyme which contributes to the inflammation process. Oregano. Polyphenols and bioflavonoids are important compounds of oregano. They help inhibit the production of free radicals and fight the damage within the body. The fewer free radicals you have, the less inflammation you will have. Basil. How to reduce ESR in blood. Eat basil. Eugenol is the most known compound of basil with great anti-inflammatory properties. Eugenol also gives the distinctive test and smell to this herb. Garlic. Garlic has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties due to several sulfur compounds that it contains. Garlic. Also reduces the risk of a heart attack and helps fight off cancer. White willow bark. This herb contains a compound called salicin, a similar compound to the one that aspirin contains. However, the anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects of white willow bark are longer-lasting than those of 
Aspirin. 2. Drink fluid. A state of constant dehydration can cause serious problems to your health, one of which is inflammation. It is recommended to consume about 1 to 2 liters of water daily. However, remember that in certain cases you will need more than normal. If you are very physically active, pregnant or breastfeeding, you will need more than 2 liters of water a day. It helps to reduce CSR in your body. 3. Exercise regularly. How to reduce CSR in blood. Engage in physical activity. Regular exercise is very important for the well-being of your body. 20 to 30 minutes of physical activity will boost your immune system and speed up the recovery process. In cases of inflammation. 4. Have adequate sleep. It is recommended to get 7 to 9 hours of sleep every night. In cases of not getting enough sleep, especially in chronic cases, inflammation occurs. As we all know, the body heals while we are asleep. Not sleeping as much as needed will just prolong the recovery time or make the inflammation get worse. Add herbs like oregano, cayenne, and basil to your cooking. These ingredients naturally fight inflammation in the body, so incorporate them into your meals whenever you can. Luckily, using herbs is a great way to spice up your meal plans, pun intended. You can also use ginger, turmeric, and white willow bark to reduce inflammation and your ESR level. Thanks for watching my channel. Only ankylosing spondylitis. Please subscribe. Thank you.